Okay guys, so today's gonna be a pretty simple video. We're doing an optimal charge weight test, um, doing some load development on this Ruger Precision Rifle. I think this is one of the Gen 3s. I don't really know how many revisions they've been through with these things, but I, I, this is one of the newest ones as of 2022. So it's in 6.5 Creed Moore is what it's chambered in. We've got an Athlon Helios or Helos BTR Gen 2 scope, six to 24 power in MOA. We are shooting at 100 yards. I've got a chronograph set at about 12 to 15 feet. I have a lavalier mic on hoping, I'm really hoping that's helping with the, the wind right now because it, it's definitely a pretty breezy day. Um, so I know that the audio is probably not gonna be as good if I just use the camera mic, but I'm hoping the lavalier helps. If it's still loud, I'm sorry, but we're just gonna hope for the best. I was kind of fighting the bag earlier, but I already shot a group with this, which you can probably see. And the first, well, technically, I've shot 10 shots through the gun doing kind of a preliminary uh, Satterley test to make sure that pressures were going to be okay with the powder charges that we're about to shoot, which they did fine, and it was a similar temperature slash conditions. Anyway, we're going to be shooting up to 41 and a half grains of H4350, Hodgden 4350, and we're going in 0.3 grain increments, if I remember right. I didn't actually bring my note out here with me, but we're shooting from 30, 38.8 grains to 41.5 grains, being the max charge for the bullet, which we are using Peterson large rifle primer brass with CCI 200 primers, large rifle primers, Hodgson 4350 powder from 38.8 grains up to 41 and a half grains. And we're shooting the Hornady 140 grain hollow point boat tail match bullets. Uh, thought about shooting the ELDs, but because this rifle, sometimes you can use the uh, kind of the AR-10 style mags, they kind of limit your seating depth a little bit. So we're just gonna go ahead and run those. This is actually not my gun. We're just kind of playing around with it today. But anyway, that's enough talking. I already shot the first group. Uh, we got a really good extreme spread. So it looks like the, uh, hopefully we'll see some good SDs today and the group size was respectable. So. We're gonna go ahead and get started with the second group, which as long as I'm remembering right, it's uh, 39.1 grains of Hodgson 4350. I'm gonna single load these, um, which will probably piss a lot of people off, <laughs> but I, it's just, at least for now, that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, it's kind of irritating with this magazine because it actually wants to hit the follower when it's on an empty mag. So anyway, um, this thing's got a good trigger on it. Um, I'm kind of liking it, but it caught me off guard initially when I went to shoot the gun. So let's go ahead and start shooting and see what we can do with this thing. It's looking promising. 2,513. Look at another pretty good group. Yeah, the spread on that one was huge compared to the first one. Extreme spread was 47 with a standard deviation of 20. The first group that we shot had a standard deviation of 5 with an extreme spread of 11. So that's quite a jump, but we'll keep shooting. Hopefully they'll kind of level off again, but we will see. So. On to 39.4, that sound about right? So I already changed my mind. I'm gonna feed these from the magazine, even though I said I wasn't going to because I'm a compulsive liar. Okay, it takes it takes a lot for me to be impressed. That's impressive. <laughs> that is really impressive. And I didn't get a single velocity. What the crap? That's that sucks. Stupid chronograph got disconnected and I wasn't paying attention. Man. I would love to know what the speed was on those. It's one hole. <sighs> 2532. Well, I know what one of the speeds was. Man, that's cool. Let's see if we can do it again. That's pretty sweet. 2,590. 
2,546 2,568 Guys, I think it's safe to say that this gun's a shooter. I mean, I haven't seen anything shoot bad yet. That first group that we shot, probably the biggest. Not by a whole lot, but I was not steady when I shot that group. I mean, I, I was fighting the bag, so I'm just, I'm happy to see this. Now the extreme spread and standard deviation was not great on that. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell you the stats on the last one, obviously, because we didn't get the velocities, but the average was 2570 speed with an extreme sp spread of 52 feet per second and a standard deviation of 21 feet per second. So we'll hopefully see that tighten up. I, I wish we would have gotten the speeds on that, the one that shot that, that bug hole, but we didn't. So we'll just keep on chugging along. It's going to be the fifth group here. Couldn't tell you the, the charge weight because I, I don't want to do that much math. All right, fifth group, here we go. Ah, man. Did I chamber around? No, I didn't chamber around because I didn't even load the mag. <laughs> That's definitely a duh moment. I haven't done that before. At least not with this gun. Okay, that's good dry fire practice, right? That's totally intentional. Let's try it with a round in the magazine and see if it goes bang. I'm just trying to get rid of that instant gratification that we've become so accustomed to. 2,596. Wow. 2,588. I'll tell you what guys, this is probably one of the most, if not the most accurate factory rifle that I've I've ever shot. This is this is a good shooting gun here. I'm definitely impressed. Man, it's not even hard. <laughs> it's making it seem so easy. Of course, this this uh, combination of components that we have here which I'm, I'm not saying this in a bragging sense, um, in a reloading respect, but just just by looking at, at case geometry, which everyone knows this, it's not something that's like a, a secret by any means, but with, with magazines like this especially, you're limited to, to seating depth. So we use hollow point bullets because there's no tip, so it's a little easier to load them shorter and still fit in the mag. With where the lands are at in this gun, I think we're sitting about 40 thousandths off of jam, which is perfect because that's where they're fitting in the mags, like right at the wall. The boat tail begins right at the conjunction between the neck and the shoulder. We've got a pretty full case with a powder that is extremely proven in this cartridge, which the primers, they're, they're CCI 200s, there's nothing, they're not bench rest primers or anything, but we are using really good brass. So it's, it's kind of hard to go wrong with the the components. I'm liking what I'm seeing, guys. I have fun shooting small groups. It's a lot less fun shooting when you're when you're you know putting shotgun patterns on paper. It's just kind of depressing. But anyway, the average of that last group in speed was 2583, extreme spread of 31, and a standard deviation of 13, which is not terrible, but it's not great either. We are going to be on the sixth group here, and. I'm just hoping to keep shooting this good. I'm, I'm having fun. This is, this is exciting, and it it kind of is a testament too. It lets you know, like, you know, with some other guns that you shoot, like if they're not shooting all that great, like, is it you or is it the gun? I mean, when you see stuff like this, it's like at least you know you can shoot a good group. So it kind of helps bring your confidence back a little bit. So let's keep shooting. I'm having fun, guys. I hope you, hope you're getting something out of this. went a little high. 2,635. That's kind of interesting. I don't know if that was me or the gun. 2,594. Well, whatever it is, it's consistent so far. Two thousand 
1620. It's a uh, sure makes you look good when you get a gun that shoots like this. That's for sure. All right, moving on to group number seven. I'm not really letting the gun take a whole lot of time to cool down here, but it's also, even though I'm just wearing a, a t-shirt with the wind, it's, it's kind of chilly. Um, so it's actually probably cooling the barrel off quickly enough that it's really not that big of a concern because it's not all that warm out here. But I've gotten so used to like the 10 degrees kind of temperatures here recently, that's that's gotten pretty common. So um, I, I feel like it's very warm. Anyway, average is 2616 feet per second, extreme spread of 41 and a standard deviation of 17 feet per second. So we're still kind of hovering in the teens for the standard deviation. I'd really like to see single digits because that's what we saw in the first group, which gave me a lot of hope that that may be uh, just a consistent thing on here with this powder that we might have to deal with but uh, either way it's shooting real small groups I, I like what I'm seeing I wish the the velocities would tighten up a little bit but I'll I'll deal with it it's not the end of the world all right on to group number seven thousand six hundred thirty seven. Two thousand six hundred fourteen. Two thousand six hundred thirty-three. I'm hoping to end around twenty-seven hundred here, and I'm hoping even more that when we end on that, if we get that high of a velocity, which isn't hyper speed by anything, but. I'm hoping it groups well and has a tight spread. Obviously that's what you want with everything, <laughs> but that one, it wasn't too bad. It was 20, 26, 28 feet per second, extreme spread of 23 feet per second in a standard deviation of 10. I'd be okay with that. If, uh, if we can get around 2,700 feet per second with a, a 10 foot per second standard deviation, that, that'd be all right with me. Of course, kind of up to the gun so we'll see what she's gonna like but I just want to shoot another one whole group that's like not something that happens real often with factory guns but it's getting more and more common every day guys technology's come a long way especially with factory barrel manufacturers <laughs> factory guns aren't what they used to be by any means Two thousand six hundred forty six. Two thousand six hundred thirty five. Cheek piece keeps knocking my earmuffs to the side just enough for that sound to creep in there and I'm going deaf in my right ear. All right, so yeah, it doubled again. 2654 average, 46 feet per second extreme spread and a 20 foot per second standard deviation. I want tighter spreads. We're getting near the end here. We got two more groups to shoot and then we will be done for the day with this gun. Stay tuned for more. So I need to change it up here. All right. Bottom right. Here we go. 2,679. Hmm. 2,653. 2,649. That's probably one of the biggest groups you've shot. It's a shame. Every time I try to crank up the speed on something, it seems like the groups always grow. Bummer. Rass still looks great. There's no signs of pressure. We don't even have primer flattening, it looks like. Everything's still very round. 
2660 feet per second, extreme spread of 30 with a standard deviation of 13. That's not terrible. The group kind of sucked compared to what we were shooting earlier. All right, last group. Hope for the best, keep your fingers crossed. Standard deviation of like, you know, three, right? With a velocity of like 2800. That's a joke for those of you that don't know me. Um, I'm still hoping like 2700. I don't think that's gonna happen at this point, but maybe like 2680, which is, that's all right. You know, it's not that far off. Like I said, hope for the best, we'll see. Got one group left. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna shoot this at, to be honest with you. Um, I think I'm gonna move it like a couple MOA to the left and just shoot at that same point of aim that we had earlier for that third group that shot that clover leaf. All right, hopefully we won't screw up that group. Really don't want to screw up that group. Actually, now, now I'm second guessing myself here. I might just shoot, I don't know, I can't decide. It's very hard. I'm gonna shoot at that bottom left diamond again. I don't, I don't want to. I can't make up my mind here. I did turn it left, right? Left. Nah, whatever. I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. Two thousand six hundred sixty. Told you. Velocity ain't gonna get that high. This is usually where I screw it up. And we did just hit twenty six eighty. Actually, I lied. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sweet. All right, cool. So, you know what? Gosh, I'll be darned. This never happens. This I'm not usually this lucky. All right, 2672 feet per second. So we're right in there, almost 2680. Pretty close to 2700. And actually, I'll be totally honest with you. If we put it on the muzzle, the magneto speed will probably tell us we're like right at 20, uh, 2700. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, Extreme spread of 20 feet per second and a standard deviation of nine. I hit all my goals here, as far as I'm concerned. With with wanting to get around 2,700 feet per second at max, and or on the max charge, rather. Published max charge. I think we could probably go further, honestly. Now, we're in moderate weather here. We're not in really hot weather, but H4350 is very temperature, temperature, gosh, I'm tripping over my words so bad today. It's very temperature stable as a powder. I have seen extremely low swings on velocity in different temperatures, a lot of people have. And so it's it's very well known for that. And this gun will probably be shot in hot weather more than anything. So I I trust it on max charge right now, even though it's, it's kind of a cooler day here. I still don't think that 40 degrees is gonna make that an unsafe load, which we'll, we'll verify. I mean, that's not something we're just gonna jump into assuming it'll be safe, so we're, we're gonna double check that first. But anyway, in conclusion, this gun's shooting exceptionally well. I literally, I shot 10 rounds through the gun, uh, one to kind of get it zeroed and two to test the speed um, to see if what we were we were just about to shoot groups with was going to cause any pressure signs and see where we should stop in terms of the the optimal charge weight test because I didn't want to shoot anything that was going to present high pressure or, you know any risks that that could be avoided we would hopefully kind of shuck that out right out of the gate and and not have to worry about it down the road Today, I saw some very, very good groups. I also shot some not great groups. Now, I think that was was probably more me than the gun, if I'm being totally honest. I mean, after shooting those those two clover leaves side by side there that you can see, I, I can't really blame the, the gun a whole lot, but you know what? Sometimes you just get flyers and other times you just suck as a shooter. I, I do that plenty. 
But I know for a fact that this gun can shoot bug holes, at least with, with three rounds, which I'm sure if we had five and I was really on my game, we could probably keep it about that size, but I'm sure it would grow because I'm not that good of a shooter. Anyway, extremely impressed with this gun. I would like to see what it can do with different bullets, but it's not my gun and we are just playing with it. So uh, probably gonna be giving it back to the owner here before too long. Like I said, we'll wait till it warms up a little bit and do some, some verifying with this ammo to make sure it's safe to shoot in hot weather. And uh, we'll probably just call it good with these unless he wants to do something else. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe and all that garbage. Um, got any questions leave a comment i'm always happy to answer them if if i know the answer because again i'm learning every day so i don't have all the answers and never will but i have fun doing this stuff i like learning and i think that you guys can can uh, usually learn a little bit of something too even if it's uh, learning what not to shoot in your gun because it is horrible but uh i uh, like i said i enjoy doing it and i learn just as much from you guys as as you hopefully can from me so anyway thank you guys for watching Check out the website, Facebook page, Instagram, all that, you know, social blah, blah, blah. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video. You guys stay risen, take care, stay safe, God bless, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time.